Hello, BioTube. I am a John Smith, and this is take two of my 80s toy haul. Apparently, things went a little off doing the live stream, so let's just do this in a regular video. As you can see, we have some petite ponies here. They don't have names. You know, little toy ponies, smaller than the new ones just a bit just a bit smaller than the new ones and that's nice uh, they have these uh, hoof things for the gimmicks to interact with bases and stuff I don't got any of them we have Care Bears here, which are Care Bears. This one's articulated, made of rubber. She can stand up. Well, she could. This is Cheer Bear, Share Bear, and Little Tugs. Or Baby Tugs. You know, we have Custard the Cat, the original, two of them. We have my boy Razor Claw and my boy Slag. We'll look at in a bit. We got a popple here. Let's transform the popple. He is a ball now. Hooray. Here's the ball form compared to a new popple. And compared to a mini popple. So there you have the, the new popples with the old classic popple. There's the plush popple, there's a plastic popple, and the old popples were a combination of the two. Now with Slag here, or slug, if you want to be politically correct. Here's him with the Power of the Primes version. And here he is in beast mode with the Power of the Primes version. I like the smoke colored plastic they used for him. It's pretty legit. I also like the cockpit. Oh, the cockpit on the bottom. For the little Diaclone dudes to hang out in. 
It's pretty cool. Overall, I like both of these for different reasons. The G1 dude is pretty cool because he's all classic and stuff, and the Power of the Primes one is, you know, a pretty fair upgrade. It could have been a little better. But I don't think the combiner gimmick really hinders this as much as a lot of people think it does. Now for Razor Claw here. As you can see, his proportions are not super great in robot mode. But they're alright for a G1 toy. Here is scales with Here is scales with Optimus. They're about the Yeah, he's a little taller than Optimus actually. About on par with Jinrai here. Jinrai is a little taller. Here is Razor Claw and Slag in Beast Mode. Razor Claw is a little taller than Slag. Pull his tail out there. Probably important. I don't have his hands pushed in because uh, one of the tabs broke off for the previous owner. And that sucks. And I believe he is broken there, so he cannot combine to form Predicate, which sucks as well. But oh well, not like I was going to do that anyways. I also picked up these Transformers here. Some Bumblebees. This one, you squeeze his legs, and he moves his arm. This one, you set him down, and he transforms. And you set him down, and he transforms. It's a nice gravity bond, I'm pretty sure they're called. I found a McDonald's Makuta Gorast without her wings. It's a pretty nice recreation. I like the Bionicle toys from McDonald's. They're Pretty cool to have a Bionicle that you don't have to put together. This was a wonderful find at the auction. It was a Toagali. As you can see. Um, hmm. I guess there's tape holding it down. But it's the classic Bionicle box. Which is always awesome. Open it up. And yep, that's the classic Toagali there. Ooh, man. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome to have Golly. Well, that's just about it for this haul. It's pretty nice. A lot of 80s toys, some Bionicles, some Bonkles, man. Now let me edit this together to something usable.